Okay, so you guys may know about an author named Margaret Atwood from one of her most famous books that she wrote called The Handmaid's Tale. But if you don't, she was a Canadian author who was born in 1939, who wrote a bunch of literary works, including uh, poems, short stories, and novels. She's mainly known for talking about themes including feminism, animal rights, and politics throughout her books. She's a pretty well-acclaimed author. But I am not going to be talking about The Handmaid's Tale today. I'm going to talk about another one of her books that I thought was better. Oryx and Crake. Oryx and Crake is a dystopian novel, which takes place in the near future, around 100 years or so, where scientific advancement is what essentially fuels the society. So in this new future, climate change has completely changed the face of the earth, food shortages are common, and new super diseases threaten society. Because of all of this, a few large scientific corporations dominate over everyone. Each corporation has a compound where all of its members live, work, and stay for the rest of their lives, having access to pretty much whatever they want. Meanwhile, the majority of people live outside these compounds in places called the Plebeans, which are big urban areas that are completely run down, have a lot of crime, a lot of illegal activities, things like that. These large corporations, however, are riddled with a lot of corruption, doing whatever they can, no matter how unethical really, in order to make money. One of the main characters in the novel, named Jimmy, spends his whole life in one of these compounds. His friend Craig also lives in the compounds, but he embraces the sciences a lot more, and you find out that he has some pretty evil intentions. The novel basically follows Jimmy throughout his life and shows his experiences living in this type of a society. It follows all the way from his childhood to his adulthood, until Craig takes the science that he believes in a little too far. In terms of themes, this novel, Oryx and Craig, covers a wide variety of things, something for everyone to like. The more obvious themes include things like the role of science in the world, the ethics of said science, and what it really means to be human. Some other more minor themes, but are still there for you to look at, are topics like climate change and environmental problems, ethics and morality in general, consumerism, and even things like family dynamics, gender roles, and sex. So there's really something for everyone to be interested in. The thing that I really liked about this novel is that it has certain elements of a science fiction novel or movie, but at the same time, those elements aren't too far-fetched or too unbelievable to take the book seriously. All of the sci-fi aspects in the novel, like climate change, genetic engineering, and other things like that, are either being worked on right now or likely will be within the next decade or so. The effects of the sciences on society that is seen in Oryx and Craig is freakishly comparable to what could actually happen in ours. Even Atwood herself does not call Oryx and Craig a sci-fi book, but a speculative fiction book, which she defines as a novel with elements not seen in our current society, but with the capability and plausibility to eventually exist. So my ultimate recommendation for Oryx and Craig is to people like me who kind of like science fiction, but not to extreme lengths, like movie Blade Runner, if, if you've seen that movie. If you're like me in that way, then this book is definitely a must read for you. Also, if you tend to like dystopian novels like 1984, A Clockwork Orange, or Brave New World, which some of you guys may have read already, or even if you like some dystopian books that you read in middle school, like The Hunger Games and The Maze Runner, then you should definitely check this book out too. Even if you are someone looking for a quick and easy read, Oryx and Crake wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, the version I read was only around 250 pages, so it wasn't super long, and it was written pretty recently in 2003, so it won't really have any super complex or old-timey language to confuse you. If you think you are even just slightly interested in Oryx and Crake, you should at least take a look at it. Not only because it's an easier read, but because it's very entertaining and it's extremely relevant in today's society. So hopefully that gives you guys another book that you might like to read. I mean, if I were you guys, I would definitely pick it up. I don't think you'll regret it a single bit.